So if you'll um, just find a place where you can relax and either sit or lie down and let your body feel supported. Like you don't need to carry yourself as much as you have been or try so hard or hold so much in. You can, the body can support you and you can let go. You can trust your body. That in itself will bring a depth of relaxation that you may never have known before. Like I can trust my body. It's safe to be in my body and feeling that. Feeling supported by the earth. And realizing that any ways in which you may not have been, may not have felt supported by the earth was really uh, more of a result of a belief that you held. A misapprehension. Not reality. And so allowing yourself to have this experience, to feel supported in your body, by your body, by the earth. And opening yourself up to that. Exploring it, feeling it deeper and deeper. By choice. And as you continue to surrender into this relaxation, to surrender to your body, closing your eyes, surrendering vision and having to look or to see the world, to experience it. So closing your eyes and moving inward into your own personal experience outside of time, space, reality, outside of relationship, reality. Exploring your relationship to yourself, your inner world. And relaxing into that exploration, into that inward journey that you're taking. Journeying into the layers of your body, of your mind, of your emotions, to the layers of your soul. Journeying inward towards the center of your being. Going deeper and deeper into the stillness and the silence of that space. That space where everything begins, is experience ends and cycles again and again. Experience after experience. And so tracing back the most outwardly positioned layers of experience And as you travel inward, moving into the deepest and deepest layer until you find the core of all expression of self, of all experiences. And oftentimes that core of your being, which can be called your soul, for instance. That's one way of describing it, of expressing it, of pointing to it. 
And if you will move there into your inner core, from where everything is born, from the stillness, from the silence, and allowing yourself to just be there. To explore this infinite, eternal space. That is always there underneath all the layers. core of your being. That is never born and never dies. That takes many shapes and forms so that it might learn through experience. So that it might evolve its understanding of love, the nature of love. And so from that space, exploring love. Exploring what love is. and surrendering any prior misinterpretations around love. Surrendering any pain, any painful experiences that are still being carried, influencing through their recording, even if it remains subconscious to you. And so surrendering those subconscious recordings, misinterpretations of reality and of love. And choosing from this space, from the, this deep space of stillness and silence to explore love, what love is. And relaxing into this exploration, this journey inward. Noticing if there's any place where you're tensing. And consciously choosing to relax deeper and deeper into this experience, this deep, deep experience of love. Continuously surrendering anything that isn't it, that is not in alignment with the stillness and silence. Anything that brings up noise, thought, reactivity, negative emotions as a result, inner dialogue. Noticing now as you hear sound around me how you might get triggered. You might step out of love for a moment through this triggering. And so merging those voices with mine right now and seeing them as one with the experience, as one with love.
So that all that is, is the love. All that remains is the love, the connection to the love, the choice to love, to be love, to feel love in your heart, in your soul. And realizing that nothing else really exists, everything else is uh, conceptualize an idea, something that we've created mentally, not reality, not truth, not the deepest truth, an aspect of, tr of truth and not the deepest truth. Deepest truth is in that space of stillness and silence, of pure creative energy, of surrender, from that space connecting to yourself and what is of meaning to you in that space. What you wish to, from the infinite and eternal, bring into life, bring into creation. Connecting there with that, with your next creation, with your next intention with what you're bringing next into the world instead of going into a program and repeating things that are not bringing love, fulfillment, abundance. Like creating your thought, your next thought right now, your intention right now from that space so that it can be born out of your awareness of it and, and honoring it and, and appreciating it and bringing it into manifestation, into creation, so that that can happen and you can have that experience more and more instead of going very deep into that pool, into that beautiful well that your soul is with all of the love and then not bringing anything back into the present moment from it, just going back into the old programs the habits, the addictions that don't bring love, life, creative flow and fulfillment. So now as you're focusing on your intention, on what you wish to create and bring into the world, if you'll bring that energy into your body, just allow yourself to feel what that feel like, that experience that you want that experience that is calling you next and that you're therefore responding to and bringing into creation, into reality, bringing it into your body, into your sensations, feelings, emotions, your mind, holding it in your mind, in your mind's eyes. and relaxing any, into any sounds around me, into any voices, seeing them as energy and oneness and, and love that can support you in this process of focus, of concentration, of remaining on your intention and on bringing it into the body in a relaxed way without tensing, just allowing the energy to flow so that it can go into all parts of your body and inform your body of the new reality recalibrate your body, reintegrate, reinform your body about what is really going on and what you're doing right now, which is not a repetition of the past or past pain and suffering. It's your creation, what you're bringing into the world, what you're giving birth to, connecting to that. Breathing it in breathing out what is not in alignment with it and just breathing it in again and again. Training your body to know it by heart, to know it in your heart, to know it in your body, to know it in your breath, to know it in you completely. And with that energy embodied, 